Hey everybody, my name is Brett Corrigan. You may know me by Brett Trades. In the next 20 minutes, I'm gonna show you my professional trading options setup on Thinkorswim. I've been a trader for six years. I know a thing or two about Thinkorswim. I'm gonna show you a lot of hidden things about Thinkorswim to help you build a really solid options trading and equity trading setup. This is gonna be an update to what we done last time about two years ago. There are some tidbits that I now do, those small changes that Thinkorswim has made, which allows us to even have a more efficient and refined system. So over the next 20 minutes, you're, we're gonna go through everything. Bear with me. Again, this will be a little bit of a longer video, but this is you have to watch it once and you're done after that. If you're lazy like me, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna give you guys a setup link with a, a saved workspace. So all you have to do is go over here and press open shared item. And when you press open shared item with my save link, it will allow you to get my whole setup instantly in less than 20 seconds. But bear with me, we're gonna set this up. I'm gonna show you all the tidbits, loading option contracts, watch list creation, uh, time and sales, level two, various actor traders, etc. In the end, it's gonna look a lot like this on my screen in front of us. Let's dive into it. What we're gonna do is we're gonna go to the settings icon and we're gonna go right over here and do a reset workspace to default. What this will do is it's going to give us a fresh slate to work off of. So what we're gonna do now is we're now gonna go back to our charts tab because right now you're seeing a lot of information which we don't wanna see. We wanna to go to our charts tab and we're gonna to go to flexible grid. So now that you guys have reset your workspace, it should look precisely like this. You have one box on the top and three boxes on the bottom. What we're going to do is we're going to make this a little bit more complicated. You have three options over here, right? And make sure if you don't see this box right here, go over here to the little grid icon and press customize grid to make sure that's enabled for now. We're gonna disable it later, but for now, keep it enabled. We're going to add two more boxes here on the top, which is gonna give us a three by three grid. This three by three grid is going to be pivotal in terms of how we're setting up our options trading desk. So here in the top left, we're going to maintain this as a chart. You may ask yourself, why do we have one chart on our Thinkorswim if we probably have a different screen or a different monitor that is going to be a extra charting monitor? The reason why is because while I'm looking over here, right, I'm looking at the price of the stock. And then by the time I look over here to get filled my option contract, the price of the stock may have changed and it may change whether or not I want to take the trade. And just the fact that I have an extra chart to look at is, is a positive thing. I wanna make sure I have at least one chart of the underlying stock that I'm watching on my active trader setup. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna go press and spy over here and we're gonna keep this as one chart. Now over here on the middle, we're gonna have our level two. Our level two is gonna be in the middle. So over here, what we're gonna do is we're gonna type the same ticker spy and we're gonna set this to our level two. So our level two is in the middle, which will show us all of the active pending orders sitting on the books. On the right-hand side, the upper right-hand corner, we're gonna add another thing, we'll tip and spy, and we're gonna add this as a time and sales. Now, the difference between level two and time and sales is time and sales will show us the actual executed orders in the market for any ticker or contract at any given moment. These are pending orders, these are executed orders. In your time and sales, what we're gonna do is actually add a few different things here to customize it. Add the ask, we're gonna add the bid, and now what we have is a fresh time in sales with our price, the size, and we're all the way to the right. The time is going to be all the way to the left-hand side. It's going to be all the way to the left-hand side, just so it's more easy to see these things. If it will allow us to do it, bear with me. It is not, so that's okay. Let's move the size over here then. We'll move the bid over here, and the price was executed out over there. It will show us the bid, the ask, at the moment of the, the executed market order. It will also show us the price that it was actually filled at. So we can use the price to differentiate whether it's a buy or a sell. And then obviously we have our size, which shows the number of contracts or shares traded and the timestamp. I was hoping we could move the timestamp over the left-hand side, but you can't do it if it's all the way in the right-hand corner. That's okay. What we're then going to do is we're going to go to the bottom left and these are going to be our two active traders. Active trader one, active trader two. Here, type in spy again. And we're going to set this to active trader. And we're going to set this one also to active trader. So we have two different active traders. And then lastly, over here, we're going to have one more chart. And this chart is going to be for our option contracts. This is going to be for our underlying. This will be for our option contracts. And this is essentially our setup. But there's still a lot of uh, things we need to do here to make it a bit better. 
The first thing we're gonna do is we're going to make this a little bit bigger and we're going to come in over here to our watch list and change it from default to current account positions. What this now shows me, guys, is it shows me if I'm in a trade, it will show me the exact position I'm in without having to go to the monitor tab. I wanna see it all in one tab. This will show me my current positions that I'm holding at, the, at that very moment. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna go to the settings icon, customize, and we're going to make some significant changes here. First thing is we're gonna change the net change. We don't need net change, you don't want that. We don't even want the bid. I'm gonna put PL day, PL open, and PL percent. So what this now will do is it's going to show me the symbol, the last price it was traded at, the PL on the day, which should be all the way to the right, the PL on the open, which is what essentially I'm up or down as soon as the position was opened. And this will show me the PL percent from open. And this will show you the PL overall for that particular day. So if you have a trade from from Monday and today's Wednesday, well, the PL open is going to show you your actual net change since Monday. The PL day is going to show you the net change from today from 9 30 a.m eastern standard time till 12 noon so very different you get very different information between your p l open and your p l day but you want to see both and you want to have the optionality to see both so keep them both up p l percent obviously will show you your percent change since that option contract has been open what we're then going to do is we have a quick chart over here we're going to get this deleted we're going to delete gadget we don't want another chart there trader tv we don't want that either what we're going to do is we're going to keep our live news keep our, our new watches we just created and we're actually going to add one more watch list by pressing the plus icon in the bottom left corner and what we're going to do is we're going to add a gadget that shows a watch list which is right here in the bottom right hand corner add a watch list and this is going to be our our storage watch list, we're storing contracts and saving contracts. This is going to be a custom watch list. So what we're gonna do is go to default and we're gonna make it so this is a custom watch list. So we, what you can do for this is you can just put, uh, for now, make it personal and you can name it anything you want. I'm gonna name it contract watch list. What we're gonna do is we're now gonna utilize this as our option contract watch list. And you're seeing some crazy stuff happening over here on the right hand side. Just some glitching let me just go over here and fix it so it's a little bit smaller over here and this is a bit bigger and then that's all we're going to do for now we're going to leave that alone make this a little bit a little bit smaller i want to show you guys some important linking tools what we're going to do is our contract watch list we're going to link this to a certain color you can link it to whatever color you want i'm going to make it red for now this is going to be linked to here i want these to be linked together so your contract watch list linked here and it's also going to be linked here as well and what this will allow me to do essentially is anytime I have a ticker or a what or a option contract loaded, it's going to essentially throw in whatever I'm loading into here and here. So I'm going to have that all together. This is going to be unlinked. This is your, your backup active trader here on the left hand side. Also, we're going to have this as set to a certain color. We're going to keep this to yellow or whatever color you want. These all on the top all linked together. So yellow, this is also going to be yellow, and this is also going to be yellow. Again, choose whatever color you want. It doesn't matter. It's just preference. But then that's going to be all linked together on the top. So the top is all linked together, and the bottom is mostly linked together with the exception of the backup option active trader. What we're now going to do is make sure you have live news enabled, and then we're going to go down to trade, and we're going to show you guys some really important stuff here when it comes to saving and loading your option contracts. So pattern ticker, let's, let's load, for example, a SPY ticker. And we'll go to SPY's chart, SPY's option chain, and your option chain is going to show you a whole bunch of information. Now, this is known as your option chain. The option chain will show you all these different dates, and the dates are expiration dates. If you want to trade an expiration date that expires today, the 25th of September, well, then you're going to come in and press this one. That would be a zero-day expiration contract. I want to trade the one that expires tomorrow. So I'm going to come in and trade the September 26th option contract. And you're going to notice that there's a series of different strike prices here, but not very many. What we need to do is go over here and change the strike price to a larger number. I always set mine to all because I like to see all of them. But if you want to do just a select few, you can set it to 10 or 14 or whatever you want to do. But for me, I choose them all because I like to just scroll through it. Again, personal preference. We now want to trade this option contract. Right? Let's just say I want to pick a call side and I want to pick the 570 calls here. I have two options. I can come in here, press buy and do a manual order, or I can go press copy and I can paste it into my option contract watch list where it will be saved here. And I can do this with various contracts. Let's just say I'm watching calls, but I'm also watching puts. 
So what I can do is now put in another option conduct here from the put side. So I have calls and puts. I can do it to other tickers. I can go to NVIDIA and say, well, I wanna also watch NVIDIA contracts as well and watch the 123 calls on NVIDIA. I'm gonna load that as well and put that into my option contract watch list. I can even take this a step further. So the other mechanism that we could use is known as using, is using the send to feature. The send to feature is a little bit different than copying it over. What we're gonna do here is you're simply gonna go, you're gonna right click the option contract that you wanna pick, in this case, the 570 calls here in SPY, and then press the send to feature, and I can send it directly to my active trader. So in this case, my, my active trader is what color? It's red, right? If I want to get my option contract sent to red, all I do is right click my option chain or my option contract, send to red, and it's gonna automatically send that option contract, the 570 call to my active trader done in one click. So your question might be, why do we even have a watch list storage bin? Like why do we have a, why do we have a watch list for contracts? The reason why is because let's say you're watching a few different tickers or a few different contracts that day. For that reason, we may have several of them loaded so I can quickly jump between them and quickly jump between them without having to go back into the option chain, back into the ticker and search it and then go through the whole process of sending it too. If you wanna very quickly get into a trade, type in your ticker, right click it, send to the color you linked your active trader to, or if you wanna store your option contracts, press copy, press copy, and paste it directly into your active trader, right? Two different ways to essentially send your option contracts to your active trader, either one storing it here or two putting it directly by using the send to feature. Now, another cool function I want you guys to know about is let's just say, for example, you're watching the SPY 570 calls right? and you wanna quickly change to the 569 calls. Well, what you could do is go back to the trade tab and, and obviously load the contracts and, and, and do it the same way we just did it. But a quick and easy way to do this is if you understand the way option contracts are identified, you can quickly edit directly onto your active trader. So if you see right here, it says C570. Well, what I could do is I can understand the C stands for calls, the five stands for the 570 stands for the strike price. So I can change this directly to 569, and that's gonna be the 569 call, press enter, and it's now gonna load the 569 call. The same thing, I could even I could even change it from a call to a put by by changing the C to a to a P and doing five six nine for the strike price. And now I have the five sixty nine puts loaded here on my actor trader, ready to get executed. One small tidbit I want you guys to understand is I want you to go to the, the grid icon over here and remove the customized grid to remove those boxes so you can keep it very, very simple and very, very clean. This is a very simple and effective way to navigate options trading on Thinkorswim. I keep it simple. I don't wanna make this a long video. I want you guys to understand it in less than 20 minutes and I hope this makes sense. If you guys have any questions, tag me in the YouTube comments and I'll be happy to help you. Trade safe, trade smart. I'll see you guys next video.